the effects of the sacrament. Number 1468 of the Catechism teaches us that the whole power of the sacrament of penance consists in restoring us to God's grace and joining us with him in intimate friendship. Reconciliation with God is the main purpose of the sacrament of penance or confession. It raises us to life in Christ. The sacrament reconciles us with the church. Sin damages and even breaks our communion with the other members of the body of Christ. And so, in a way, the sinner anticipates the judgment which he will one day be subjected to. That's what happens when we go to confession. In a way, we're anticipating judgment day. And the day will come when every one of us will stand before Christ, a loving and just judge, and we will be called to account for every word, for every thought, for every action, for every action we fail to do. And so by using confession wisely, we anticipate that day and prepare for it. For it is now in this life that we are offered the choice between life and death. As scripture tells us, two ways are set before you, O man, the way of life and the way of death. The way of truth and the way of lies, the way of goodness, the way of evil, the way of heaven and the way of hell. Therefore, choose life. Choose life. The sacrament of reconciliation brings us more deeply into the life of Christ and the life of the church. That life which ultimately never ends, for it brings us into eternal life. The other spiritual effects of the sacrament are remission of the eternal punishment incurred by mortal sins. In other words, we go to com confession, we make a good confession. Mortal sin is removed. Hell is removed. If you feel like you've got hell inside of you, go to confession. Confession evicts hell. It's a good thing. Remission, at least in part, of the temporal punishment resulting for sin. Sin carries with it a price, and we can pay the price now or later. We'll talk a little bit more about it later when we talk about purgatory and about indulgences this afternoon. But when we go to confession, the remission of the temporal punishment due to sin, at least part of it, takes place. We receive peace and serenity of conscience when we make a good confession. We receive an increase of spiritual strength. That strength which we need for the Christian battle. This life is a warfare. It really is a warfare. And we need all the strength that we can get. Confession heals us. Every sacrament channels sanctifying grace in a unique way. The sacrament of penance, reconciliation, confession, channels sanctifying grace in a forgiving way and a healing way. Two things happen when we sin. Number one, we incur guilt. Number two, we wound ourselves as well as others. Now, when we go to confession, we remove the guilt. God forgives the sin. That's the first thing. But the second thing is that we have a wound from sin which is healed, at least partially healed, if not completely healed. That's why it's very good to go to confession regularly, and the, sin, the, the church exhorts us to confess even venial sins. That's a salutary thing to do. That's a good thing to do. You may say, well, I don't need to go to confession, Father. I, I, I have no mortal sins. Well, that's, that's good. I'm glad that you don't. But it's still good to go to confession regularly. Why? Because even venial sins wound us, not unto death. They don't separate us from God. They don't separate us absolutely from each other. But they do wound the soul and weaken us. And so when we go to confession and confess our venial sins, the church teaches us that's a good thing. What happens? Healing takes place. We are strengthened by sanctifying grace. 
We need all the help we can get. And so that's why frequent confession is encouraged. 